How to invest in real estate crowdfunding. Investing in real estate creates more millionaires than any other industry. And it just got better with the best secret, the best kept secret in real estate all together, hands down, it's crowdfunding. I'm gonna tell you all about it, all of the nuances, the tips, the tricks, the lies you've been told, and how to get it done. Let's go. I'm gonna share with you a five-step process for investing in real estate crowdfunding. I'm gonna tell you my dirty little secret to investing in crowdfunding and making a profit in less than 30 days. I'm gonna give you the biggest, best insider tip on how to avoid wasting money and time in the wrong crowdfund. So what is crowdfunding in real estate? Crowdfunding in real estate is super simple. It's basically taking a very old idea and putting a new twist to it. So real estate, we all know. Everyone wants to invest in real estate. People want rental properties. People want to fix and flip houses. We've seen all those shows on HGTV and we want our check, okay? I know that's what I was thinking when I used to watch all those fix and flip shows. So there are so many people that are interested in investing in real estate, especially flipping houses. But we all know that it does take some money. Either you're gonna need money to buy the property or you're gonna need money to renovate the property or you're gonna need good credit to get a hard money loan or whatever the situation is, you're going to need some money, even if it's just for inspections and appraisals. So the new and best way that we're gonna be talking about in this video that I like cannot even believe that you are smart enough to even be looking at this is how to do it in real estate. So the way that we do it in real estate is we pull together funds. And again, we used to do it privately where one person was like the expert or they were the fix and flip person or they were the project manager. They would find investors who wanted to do it but didn't have the time, had a little bit of money. Maybe everybody put in $5,000, maybe even just three people put in $5,000. They got $15,000, they used that as the rehab budget and they finance buying the home or they use that 15,000 as a down payment and the hard money lender lent them all of the money. But in any case, they pool their money together so that they could get a property that they could flip for a profit or a rental property. So let's fast forward to what we can do today. We take that same concept of pooling together private people's money, either usually we're talking about unaccredited investors, just regular people, Joe Schmo, maybe somebody with a 401k or a little bit of a savings that wants to do some real estate and they put their money together, they buy properties and they split the profits. That is the basic idea of crowdfunding. You can go to different websites like True Crowd, that's T-R-U-C-R-O-W-D.com. You can see our crowdfund there, which is New Res, plus a few other different people that are crowdfunding for their businesses. But when it comes to real estate crowdfunding, why we say it's real estate is the funds that we are raising are going to be used only to buy income producing properties. So that's the gist of it, that's what it is. Now let's talk about how you can do it and how you get a whole bunch of money too. So when we're talking about how to invest in real estate crowdfunding, you gotta know and you have to decide what is it that you are trying to do in real estate. I need you before you ever do anything, before you start a crowdfund or invest in a crowdfund, that you decide what it is that you're looking for. Are you looking to buy some rental properties and learn how to do that? Are you looking for just a check to come to your home once per year? Are you looking for long term for them to buy a bunch of properties and then take the company public and then sell that and then you get your money? Again, are you looking for short term money? Are you looking for long term money? Are you looking for some cash flow right now? Exactly what is it that you want? You gotta decide on your goals and your big why. This is the first step, okay? So giving you an example, with our crowdfund, we give you three different ways to make money, okay? We give you the quarterly profit distributions. We also give you a way to get paid when you give properties or refer properties to us. If we go with any of those properties, we pay out some pretty sizable marketing fees. And then we also pay marketing fees if you've invested and you find other investors. So we give you three different ways that people, that literally, all jokes aside, I have people that are investing and they're getting all three streams of income just with our one crowdfund. 
So they have to make their decision. Do they just want to wait on that quarterly check or do they want to kind of be active and help us find properties and get more money that way? Do they want to help us find properties and find investors, you know, and get money that way? So I have students that are getting money all three ways through our crowdfund, but you got to decide for you, what is it that you want? That's the first step. Let's get to the second step. Step two, when we're talking about how to invest in real estate crowdfund, step two is so important start looking for what you want okay now this is kind of a newer idea and the thing about it is i'm recommending that you definitely use an established crowdfund that has gone through the process through the securities and exchange commission okay just because i've been through that process they vetted me they vetted my company our expertise everybody that we had on staff you know they vetted our whole plan we had to have you know um, financial um, accountants look at what we were going to do and what we had done before so when you are looking at a crowdfund, you got to kind of look at the whole thing and just decide what it is that you want. Some of the real estate crowdfunds, for example, are not really crowdfunds. A lot of them are no more than a trust where you're going to put that money in and you're never really going to get much money until they decide to sell those properties. That's one way um, that some crowdfunds or some real estate trust, which is a separate thing than a crowdfund, but so some people have set up their crowdfund where it works very similar to a REIT or a real estate investment trust and the investors don't get their money necessarily as regularly as some other crowd funds. There are some crowd funds that pay out monthly, there are some that pay out quarterly, there are some that pay out annually, there are some that do not pay out any distributions until they go public with the company, okay? So again, start looking for what it is that you want. Do you want long-term income? Do you want short-term income? Do you want education? Or do you want all of it okay some crowd funds actually offer you all of it we actually offer all of that even our investors they get training because they come to our investor meetings and we tell them exactly what we're doing we show them in the pictures we show them the numbers we give them really in-depth information so that they can actually start to learn some crowd funds they don't do that they may just tell you how much money that you're getting and then that's the end of it so again start looking for what you want don't just take any old thing don't just go with the first one that you find unless it's what you want make a decision this is what you're going for and then start looking for what you want that's step two step three i suggest you start small so when we are talking about investing in real estate and how to do it with a crowd fund if you are investing in a crowd fund i suggest you starting small do not put twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 into a crowdfund. Yes, I know, I'm not naming names and I'm not gonna say anything negative about anybody else's crowdfund, but some of these people, some of these guys out here are requiring ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 just to even see what they're doing. I think that's a little risky and, and you might as well at that point just do it your own self, okay? If you have to put 20, 10 or $20,000 into it, you might as well do it your own self because you're gonna make more money that way. Because a lot of these guys are having you put in 10, $20,000 and they're only giving a 6% return on investment. So again, think about what it is that you want and start looking for what it is that you want, but start off small. I suggest starting with maybe $1,000 or 2,500 or 5,000 stay away from those ones where you have to put in 20 and 30 and ten thousand dollars to even get in the door that's a little hefty especially if you've never done this before if you've invested in real estate before and you're comfortable and you get it go ahead go all in but if this is your first one and you're really learning and you want to know how to do it start small find someone that's going to let you do it for five hundred a thousand twenty five hundred dollars five thousand something to that effect do not start with ten twenty thirty thousand dollars okay the next step Step four, invest. This is the scariest part for people. You've done all your research, you've watched, you've read all their paperwork, you did all of this. Now it's time to actually go ahead and let it go. You gotta go ahead and do it. You cannot be afraid. You can't be scared. You can't just analyze everything forever. You cannot be paralyzed by your analysis, okay? They call it analysis paralysis. Do not just keep looking and reading and, and, and researching in books and, and websites and checking this person. It's, it comes to a point after you've made your decision, you know what you want. If you followed my step, you've made your decision, they have what you want, go ahead and give the money, especially like I said, if it is truly a crowdfund that has been vetted through the Security and Exchange Commission. If it's been vetted through the Security and Exchange Commissions, you have a regulatory body that you can go to if anything goes awry, okay? 
people that have invested in my crowdfund, they know that they literally, if you know, I just ran off to, to, to Mexico and they couldn't find me or whatever, they could call this agency and they would be able to help. Okay. So don't just give it to your money in tens and twenty thousand dollars to strangers, to somebody that you just found on, you know, at some meeting, make sure that it is, they are legitimate and then go ahead and invest the money. Stop thinking about it. Just go ahead, make the investment, pull the trigger and just do it. And step five, this is the last step, but it is so important. Go to the meetings. So as an investor, they invite you to investor only meetings. You usually have meetings, you know, some companies have it one time per year, sometimes have it every month, some have it quarterly. However often they have those meetings, please make sure that you attend. You wanna do this one because yes, you invested and you wanna see what they're doing and you wanna get your updates and see how, you know, how well your money is doing but it's also very educational for you. You need to learn and start to see some of the numbers from the experts. On those investor only calls where you've invested, they will teach you so much. And this is really what's gonna open you up, either be able to invest more money or to create your own crowdfund as well. So take my advice, go ahead, invest in one, and then make sure you go to the meetings and you go on their calls or you, you read the paperwork that they send you so that you can learn and you can do it yourself. Okay, so hopefully you got everything and you understand now how to invest in real estate crowdfunding. You get the whole process, you got the five steps. I've given you my secret sauce. I tell, I've told you so many secrets on how I did it. You know, I started with my crowdfund just in December of 2019 and we already have hundreds of thousands of dollars. We already have properties that we have and we are going full steam ahead. It is an amazing thing to be able to do and to be able to help more investors learn and get started. If this is something that you're interested, I implore you to please go ahead and check out New Rez. That's N-U-U-R-E-Z.com. You can check us out at our website or you can even go to the True Crowd platform. That's T-R-U-C-R-O-W-D.com. And then New Rez is right there. We're right on the front page. We're probably one of the best and fastest growing uh, <laughs> crowd funds that they have. We've been um, you know, awarded by them. It's just been an amazing idea that has really taken off. So please take a moment when you get a chance and go check that out, write it down. I'll be forever grateful and you will too just from learning about it because you can do the same thing I did, okay? This is Noelle, to your success.